Good morning. Good morning and win forever and ever, people of grace. Good morning, beloved sons and daughters of the Most High. You are welcome. May you continue to win and remain blessed. May God continue to bless you and protect you from the plan of the enemy, from all the wicked and the cruel world that we are living. May God always be with you and his hand always protect you. Yes, you are welcome. Let's welcome the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, we welcome you. We adore you, Spirit of the living God. Fill us with your anointing, your power, and your grace. We love you, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, we adore you. Holy Spirit, come and take control. Holy Spirit, continue to pray for us. And that groaning spirit, when you pray for us, things become perfect. Perfect, O oh Lord, everything that is not good in us. Because you are the Lord. You are God who died for us. You are God that sits on the throne. You are God that created heaven and earth. We love you. We salute you. Holy Spirit of the truth, you are still you. You never change. You never lie, you are not a man. And you always win the battles for us. We acknowledge your love and power and the grace and the protection that you give it to us. And so we read the word. And Father, we pray, thank you for being with us. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for the continued protection that you are busy perfecting everything for us. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you. Holy Spirit, we welcome you. We thank you. We thank you, Holy Spirit. Fill the place with your atmosphere. Yes, enhance their anointing, their grace, and their wisdom. Yes, Lord, you are worthy to be praised, Spirit of the King. Thank you, and amen. You are welcome again. Thank you, new subscriber. We love you. We will see you soon when we try to do the Zoom or the live. We are praying that Father God must direct us. May God bless you. Even others continue to share the link so that you can help people there, there outside that they need help. The ones that they need prayers, the ones that they are in epic challenges because their Satan is still there, doesn't want to rest. He vowed not to rest, he vowed to torment the people of God, all his the children of the Most High and the body of Christ. He wanted them out. He started to be burned. So we have to keep on pushing. When we are weak, he's strong for us. We are facing huge challenges, but we must always, always take note that Father God is next to us. He knows. That's why he knows even before we pray and call him. He knows what we'll say. May God bless you. We will be reading a book of Second Timothy. Second Timothy is next before Revelation. Second Timothy four. Second Timothy four, from verse seventeen, uh, until seventeen, seventeen and eighteen. It reads like this. But, mm, sorry. But the Lord is yeah, 17 to, to 18. Mm. 17 to 8. Second Timothy 4, verse 17 to 18. But the Lord, but the Lord, the Lord is God, but the Lord stood at my side and gave me strength so that through through me, the message might be full, might be fully proclaimed, must, must be fully proclaimed, and all the Gentiles might hear it. And all the Gentiles might hear it. And I was delivered from the lion's mouth. 
the Lord will rescue me from every evil attacks and will bring me will bring me safely to the heavenly kingdom to him be glory for ever and ever amen Paul apostle here he is telling us he was telling all his disciples that in every challenges that he faced the god is always there the creator of heaven is always there he always may give him strength to overcome these wicked people evil attacks wicked people as enemies as satan they release evil attacks so he said he knows that even if he is attacked the father will bring him safely to the heavenly kingdom he will never let him feel those pains or torture of attacks he is like a declaring he is like a vowing he vow not vowing we vow he, he, he vow that whatever come let it come his faith is so hundred and up is not low this is what impresses for the god he, in other words Apostle Paul, yeah. He because he, it was once you, you saw about Timothy, first Peter, Boex, it's all where he was around and remember he was preaching everywhere by Antioch, where he went, all those churches where they end up you know that they end up being killed, murdered. So he, he, wherever he preached, he will write a letter to the other disciples. To tell them, even when he was in prison, he will write the, the letters to enhance their faith. That even though he's arrested, they must know that God, in other words, he doesn't change, he will never change. And in other words, in every amidst of those challenges and pains and attacks that we are facing every day. And you know what? Devil will never attack you, child of God, if he doesn't know what is in you. That is why the demons, when they manifest, they say, we attack those Christians because they bear the light. A demon can never go to another demon and attack it. It's impossible. It's like a demon will never go and uh, deliver another demon. It's impossible. That is why Jesus told the Gentiles and the Pharisees that, hey, you said I'm a demon, I deliver people. But how can a demon deliver another demon? And it's impossible. So we must just, yes, it's normal to speak about my problems. And I say, hey, my problems in the house, in the family, my child, he did something. It's normal, we have to ventilate. We have to vent. It's, it, is, it, it is normal. Because the more you vent, is the more Mama Ruth give you a word that will strengthen you. But after to, after finishing to vent, we cannot continue to mama about it and carry it. Once we do that, it's like now we're doing what? An enchantment to those attacks and challenges. Now they will boost. The minute you speak, let me give an example now. I was attacked. Then oh, I'm attacked by Satan the whole night. In the morning, I say, good morning. We are having a Zoom meeting. Then I say in the Zoom, hi, Mama Ruth is here. Hi, you are happy to see me. I said, hey. <clears throat> I started by telling the family, my husband, my child, hey, I have a problem. I was attacked last night by Satan. This is what happened. My husband, I know once he say, chai. <laughs> he will say that chai and say, hey, hey, let's pray. 
Okay. Or we'll pray about it before we sleep. And then I said, no, I must do Zoom today. Okay. And then at Zoom, I say, hi, you are welcome, all the uh, people of grace. I speak with them. I say, hey, yesterday I didn't sleep. You won't believe. Satan did this. Why? Because I've already vent to my husband and my child. Why on God's name I keep on talking about it? If I keep on doing that, I am now doing what? An enchantment. He's happy that I hit her very well well. Let me go back again and use another more strategy to punish her. Yes, we vent. That is why the Bible says stop murmuring. After you ought you to crumble, after you have to talk about it, leave it for God. Don't worry yourself. Leave it for Him. Tomorrow is for you. And every challenge, cheer up, child of God. Those evil attacks, that's why last I told you that sometimes you can hear the voice that this voice of Mama Ruth is tired. It's not about waking or what. Now, to fight, to fight, to fight. So to fight, like I said, knees and our God. He said to him, we must tell him all our, our problems. We must cry unto him. We cry once we feel the pain and the tears are right rolling down. Then we said, Father, but we know you said we must cast our problems and burdens unto you. We just did it. Father, the rest is coming from you. We have told you you are the judge, but now I have told you that what I'm passing through. And I know that you send angels every day to protect me. My Father, but this is what happened. I'm powerless. And I know that when I'm weak, you are strong for me. So in other words, yeah, Apostle Paul was telling us that he believes, he knows how God is, who is God. And he believes that because he exists, I will never suffer. I miss all those attacks that will come. He will come and carry me safely to the heavenly kingdom. Meaning that when he said that, he will protect him. So let's, uh, in, even in that problem, that no matter how huge, huge it is, choose a person to tell the person. And then you will hear the person and the, Another thing, the, 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 the friends that we are having, I don't say that we must go and say friends go. Your friends know you more than your families. Whether it's a marriage problem or what and what and what. Because when we are cross, we run to them. <coughs> Sorry. When we face challenges, we run to our friends. <coughs> Sorry. You know, Musagir, we are starting church. <clears throat> and the worst part that I can see them. And the worst part I do destroy. And they keep on coming. That's stubborn. <clears throat> it doesn't happen to you, only child of God. <clears throat> do you know that we are in a perilous time? You know, Mus. Things will gradually change. It's, th it's happening. But the next coming times, you'll be so shocked. You must write it down. <coughs> Things are changing. Things are changing. We are in at the last end of times. When we say last, at last end of times, it doesn't say it's, it's not about that Jesus is coming. Remember there is rapture. We are in those times, children of God. Things that are coming, it will be worse. Please don't even go out without calling the blood. Don't go to bed and sleep without calling the blood. We need protection more than ever. We need protection. But when God is for you, who can be against you? When God knows that child, this child of mine is calling me every now and again, who can stay aloof from you? Or God will always send his angels to protect you. Let's pray. I didn't want to preach up to you. I said it's a short prayer. So let's pray. And the book of Second Timothy 4, from verse 17 to 18.
second timothy is uh, uh, before we hebrew first peter is uh, uh, bo, bo, no it's before we hebrews yes it's before hebrews so they're the last so please don't stop praying and when you feel oppressed or oppressed uh, by challenges or darkness pray and get a person that is so prayful who if you are, your friend is not prayful you must enjoy the friendship while it lasts because father god will remove you from him or her he is a jealous god he wants you to stay close with him to make him a friend to make him a child in the book of matthew to depend to him like a child he said unless if a person live a life like a child, knowing that you must depend on him with everything, you will never enter his kingdom. So we must be aware of our friends. You cannot be a giraffe and then you a giraffe says my friend henceforth is a wild dog or his friend is a lion. That is why you can see even animals. They walk, if you go to the parks or wherever, the zebras, they go with their own clan. Elephants with their own clan. God created us like so unique. An elephant cannot say, hey, I'm going to look for a friend. They say, well, says, a lion or a rhino. It doesn't work like that. So we must also be very vigilant about friends. I don't say your friend can do that. But remember you confide everything to that friend. Friend knows that how your husband, what he ate yesterday, what you cook. The first thing you jump is to phone a friend. No. I don't say that. You wake up and read Psalm 23. Then you can call a friend and speak after. Then after Psalm 23, you'll pray. Then you call your friend. But remember what the Bible said. You cannot trust a man. A man is worldly. A man doesn't have internal life. You have to trust him only. When it's difficult, Pull a chair and sit and put another chair where it's empty. You say, here is your chair, my Jesus. Today it's me and you. Speak with him as if there's someone there sitting on the chair. My Jesus, I have this problem. You tell him everything you ventilate. When you finish, he says, I'm done. Let's pray. You pray. And it must be you praying. You finish. Amen. My Father Jesus, now you can be excused. I will call you tomorrow when we continue with, the, with this topic. You take the chair, you put it. You will hear. Do it for the whole month. You will hear from maybe in second week or the last week of the month. You will hear or the second month. A big voice started to speak inside with you. That is why Jesus. Once you hear that voice, you must know your level is up. You must know that you have won the victory like your father. That's how we won the battle. May God bless you. And let's pray. The prayer that we are praying today is prayer, prayer, sleeping. Let's pray. You touch wherever you want to touch the pain or where you have problem the stomach or the heart. May God bless you or the forehead. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Holy Ghost, we adore you. Thank you for the protection. Here are your people, Lord, the people of grace, the one you chose them to be your sheep, to follow you. Father, to live according to the commands of Papa Moses. My Father, here are they. They might be weak, but Father, when they are weak, we are strong. Father, they might be facing challenges every day, but they believe that you are there. Holy One, descend. Descend, Father, and fight for them. 
Father, as they are going now, preparing to go to sleep, my Father, with your deliverance, and Lord, oh, Holy Father, protect them from the enemy. Others, Lord, the enemy has already put a tight spirit. And the enemy put a tight spirit and let them not to know as if the body is fine. And when they jump on their bed, Lord, others is the last time. Not in this group. They are children. All their families, others are the last time. Because the one that are listening, they are with the Holy Spirit. You fight for them. Oh, Holy One, protect them from the plan of the enemy. That attack spirit that entered their body. The way it entered, Lord, you will remove it. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, help me on your children. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You darkness, you are that spirit that already entered, that I will torment her the whole weekend. I will start today, tomorrow. I will frustrate her. I break you, spirit of frustration. Get out. Your spirit of pains, come out from the life of a child of God. Get out. All it goes, search and destroy and page it out. Be page out, I'm speaking with you. Hear the voice of the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. Your spirit of darkness. Your flames of darkness. Let the fire out and go search and destroy. Go. Whether you connect to the leg of a child of God. Other legs of the children of God are itchy now. Other legs and the tooth and the knees of the children of God. They say, why my knees are so weak? I, I don't know what's wrong with my knees. We know that's how you hide. Come out. You attach spirits. From the legs where you enter on the ground. I send the fire out of goes on the tools on the legs. What it goes, fire. I nullify your powers. What it goes, fire. I render you powerless. What it goes, fire. Destroy them, Lord. I break that linkage by the power. In the name that is above and in every name. Any name. The name of Jesus Christ is above every name. The name when you call it, it heals. It deliver, it protect. The name of Jesus Christ. The name of Jesus Christ. Come and manifest your power in the body of your children. Whatever touch spirit, whether it's a stubborn foundational evil, evil darkness, that they will be using the foundation to enter their rooms in order to harm them when they're sleeping. Be broken by the power of the ghost. Uh, be exposed and the angels of God to destroy you. Be cut off. No child of God listening to this prayer that shall be tormented when they asleep. I break all your, your yokes and your linkage. Let that avenue under the bed in the foundation be closed by the blood and the power of the ghost. Be closed by the blood of Jesus. Come out, you wicked poison. And the blood and the fluid, the organs, get out. Holy Ghost, fire in the spinal cord, the shoulders, the waist, and the hip, the bones, the cells, the bone marrow. Be flushed out, come out. Be patched out. Holy Ghost, fire, get out. I release the children of God. Be uprooted on all your wicked evil deposits. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, power has been given to us. Go. By the power of the Holy Ghost, let it search and destroy and scatter and burn all your wicked poison that you already polluted them. You deposited our wicked poison. Your evil flying demons let the hand of God pull you down. Come out from the body of a child of God. The bones, the cells, the bone marrow. Be flushed out. Come out. Out. You will never harm them while they are sleeping. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My Father, my Lord. Any wicked plan that they started already at 3 o'clock to cast the child of God. They are busy with the casting, sending their arrows. The book of Psalm 91, Lord. Let your children witness when the wicked are punished. Let the arrows, when they fall, they just, it will never come near them. They have to witness it. Believing my father that there's a glory protecting them. A flame of fire upon them. And your canopy, according to the book of Isaiah. Arise, O Lord, and protect them. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. 
Come out, you wicked evil deposit. You strangers in the body that are waiting for 10, 12 o'clock, 11, 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 3 a.m. until 5. You are powers. And your wicked plan to destroy them when they are asleep. I break it by the path of ghost. Be broken. Your wicked evil hand. That is stretched from the wicked evil gathering. Gathering of wicked evil people. Satanic agents. My father. I break that wicked evil hand. Be paralyzed by the power of the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Destroy the wicked hand. That is planning to torment a child of God. That is planning to release an arrow. Let the arrow go back and pierce them. These children of God, they will sleep peacefully because of your power, Lord, and your blood and the anointing and the power and the wisdom that you have bestowed to your children. Fight for them, O oh Lord. My Father, my Lord, reveal every secret of the enemy so that they can pray against the enemy. Against the enemy. We don't pray for the enemy to die, Lord. We pray for the enemy to be punished and for you to expose, Lord, so that you can pray against them. Release and remove. Release your power and remove all the wicked things that they hide their faces, Lord, when they torment these children of God. Let them be exposed and be paralyzed and be thrown back to the cage, to the pit of hell where they belong. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, power fall upon your children to fight on the other kingdom when they are sleeping. Holy Ghost, come down and fight with them, Lord. Those wicked, evil demons and darkness, evil spirits, or the wickedness and familiar spirit. Those wicked animals or evil beasts that is a sign to torment a child of God. That is a sign to come and steal from the child of God. Those wicked evil business demons are signed to come and torture the child of God's life and frustrate the child of God. I render you powerless. Holy Ghost, fall upon them. Let them be powerless in that kingdom or where they are operating. They are waiting, crouching like an evil, evil small lions in the villages. Waiting to catch who to devour. They shall never come and torment the children of God. I render them powerless. What is those who fall down and destroy any evil beast of darkness, any evil beast as an animal, assigned to torment the children of God when they are sleeping. Let the power of God destroy you. What goes fire? Let the power of God guard you and the angels when you strike. Let them be tormenting you. And you'll run and scatter seven directions. But the powder goes. Holy Ghost, search and destroy. My Father, we thank you. We know that you are God. And we know that you fight for your children. Any evil idol spirit that is planning to come be a caterer at night to gather them wicked evil food. My Father, those evil food and the blood of darkness to come and sacrifice them. By my the power of the ghost, the power of the resurrection, arise and fight for your children. Arise and block wicked idol food. Arise and destroy every initiation. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, initiation from darkness. Be silenced by the power of the ghost. Be silenced by the power of the ghost. Go and carry all your wicked evil nightmares. Come out, you wicked evil nightmares. You shall never press the children of God down in order to torment them. When they are pressed down, O oh Lord, revive them, Holy One. Revive them with your finger, my Jesus. No darkness, no demon shall press them down in order to violate them, in order to torment them. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let your power fall down and fight for your children. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, contrary spirit that are coming to hide and torment the children of God. Be exposed, I render you powerless. Be exposed and be destroyed by the power of the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, fire destroy contrary spirit in our territory. Those territorial spirits, be silenced by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let your acts of fire, Lord, be on guard to destroy them. The acts of fire to destroy every darkness and all familiar spirits that are tormenting the children of God and all the idol spirits. My Father, my Lord, no child of God that will be tormented when they are sleeping. Let your power descend on your hand, Lord, to cut them off, those spirits. Father, we know, we pray, we fight. We fight the war of not flesh and blood, but all these spirits 
principalities of the dark world. My father, we shall overcome by the blood. We shall overcome because of the blood that you have shed for us. The book of Galatians 16, 6 verse 17. You said it, Lord. They said it, Lord. You are apostles, Lord. Henceforth, no man shall come and torment me or destroy me or make a harm me. For I bear the marks of the Lord. They bear your marks, Lord, like Israelites. The marks of the blood. Release it, Lord, in their forehead. Let it shine so that no darkness will come near them. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. No evil nightmares. They shall overcome in the other kingdom. They shall overcome when they awake by your power, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. Let the light of God fill their rooms. More wisdom to see and to sense that there's darkness so that they can prepare, Lord. Open their eyes, oh Lord, when they block. Wash their eyes with the blood to see in the real, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, to fight in the real, and Father, sharpen their wisdom, to overcome in the real. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, you said it. All those family spirits, scorpions, spiders, great lion and everything, they, be they belong below. Let them be above every darkness. Be wiser than evil demons and all their principalities. Be wiser because of your power, your glory, your anointing. In Jesus' mighty name. Oh, protect them, Lord. Let your hand be upon them, Lord. When they woke up and when they sleep, they shall woke up. No one shall sleep the sleep of dead. That spirit, let it get out in their lives. They shall sleep a sleep of heaven. That in order to overcome in the other kingdom. Not asleep that they will die. And they do as they wish in their dreams. My father. Let your anointing feed your children. Let it fill your children. Let every evil deposit of snakes. And all the serpentine spirit. Be powerless. They deposit. When they are deposited in their bodies. Let their bodies become too hard to contain darkness. Too hard to contain evil deposit. Too hard for the God that they will suffocate and come out from their bodies. In Jesus mighty name. Help them Lord to say no in their dreams. No when they tempt them. When Satan come to tempt them. Help them to say no with your wisdom. In Jesus mighty name we have prayed. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord. Any evil, darkness that will overpower them, let that be destruction, Lord, that they, if they fail to say no, wake them up, Lord. When they violate them or they try, because of the spirit of incubus and succubus, when they try, Lord, of marine spirit, when they try, Lord, my Father, let that be destruction when they're weak. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let them wake up so that they can pray. By your power and anointing, Lord, we rely on you, Lord. We depend on you, Lord. Knowing that, Father, you hold everything about our lives. You are God who created us. Have mercy on them, Lord. No error of piercing them. No astral projection. They will sleep and wake up without harm. In Jesus' mighty name. And I cancel the plan of the enemy. To say this one is a trap of weekend. No trap of weekend or next year or where ever shall ever prosper to them. Your canopy, Lord, will cover them with a flamed fire from heaven. These are the daughters of Zion and the sons of Zion. Have mercy on them, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, let the enemy be put to shame by your power when you fight for them. My Father, my Lord, I dress them up with your armor. They are your shield, Lord. I pull the shield, your shield, Lord, upon them. Let them be dressed. When the enemy look for them, to cast them. When they want to look and find their face, let them see your shield with the fire and the light of God to protect them. Let it strike the eyes of the enemy and all the demons and let them fall down and die. Their spirits, in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Thank you, Lord.
Any evil transportation, transporting all the weapons and darkness and gadget to come and plant in the child of God's house or rooms or at their gates, Lord. Father, thunderbolts of heaven and the fire of the ghost, the call of fire, let it fill their houses, their rooms, their foundation, the walls and the roof. My Father on the earth, back and front, with the call of fire and the light of God to destroy all the enemy in Jesus' mighty name. Any evil, strong man, strong woman, that are busy fighting the children of God, those we know, strong men are half strong men and half spiritual husbands. And all the wicked animals, when they try to come to your yard, wherever they will be standing, Lord, or waiting, let the call of fire Father, be released from heaven to burn all over their bodies. Let them be roasted and become ashes. In Jesus' mighty name, oh Holy One, protect them with your hand, your blood and the fire where they are sleeping, where we sleep, our children. In Jesus' mighty name, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Ebenezer, for your protection. And we depend on you. And you shall manifest your power because you are our God. You are our Father. And we love you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name. We have prayed. May you be protected, child of God. Whether it's weekend or tomorrow, be protected from to, tonight henceforth. Whether you are sick or not, that blood of Jesus and the deliverance said, let us silence the pain. Your pain, be silenced and get out. By the power of the Holy Ghost, your pain, come out from the child of God. Your pain, get out. Your challenges that are facing are faced by the children of God. Be silenced. I declare calmness. Come out. Challenges. Get out and be broken. Challenges that the children of God are facing at home, at work. Be destroyed. Be nullified by the blood of Jesus. Come out, you challenges. The plan of the enemy to give you challenges, to frustrate you, to torture you. Be broken. Get out. I release the children of God. Go. I break all your plan. Come out. I release the children of God. They shall never fall down. The power of my Father Jesus to manifest and protect them. To silence all the pains. To remove all the challenges. In Jesus' mighty name. Let there be calmness in your houses. Calmness with your children. Calmness in your lives. Receive calmness. Receive anointing. Receive his glory. Receive all the grace that is so sufficient. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. May God bless you. And shalom. You are highly favored. God is with you. Remember always, and God exists. And let the love of God lead. And your heart be filled, be filled with compassionate and love and grace and to help and assist the poor and your neighbors. Those you know that they eat, they sleep without food. Share with them and God will bless you. Shalom and Emmanuel.